Warning. This is intended to hack your PSP. If you want to hack it, that's totally up to you and continue watching this video and I'll show you how to hack it. If not, then get out of here, please. Just don't even bother. You, if you don't have the equipment for this particular video, just don't even bother. It's not worth your time. This is for people who have what they need for this, or people who are prepared to, like, brick it, or will, or ri basically risk bricking their PSP. I mean, with this tutorial, there's almost no possible chance of that happening, but still, with all the plugins and stuff that you might want to get interested in putting in, and the stuff you want to load onto this thing, just, if you don't want to hack it, don't watch this video. If you do want to hack it, watch this video it is a really good way of learning and I have benefited so much from other videos as well so let's get on with the video hey this is WFD productions with a tutorial on how to mod your PSP or hack it jailbreak it whatever you like to call it what you're gonna need for this video a PSP in this case um, mine's a 2000 standard nothing special and what you're also going to need is a modding kit as I like to call it you um, alright let's get started before we get started I need to tell you some th things you need to know. For example, mine's already modded, so or hacked, so mm, yeah, I'm just gonna rehack it or whatever. As you can see, it's totally hacked. So on a standard PSP, though, you should go to your system settings. and go down to your system information. As you can see, mine's 6.39 ME-9.1, which is a experimental firmware. Now, I'm going to try to help you get to this. It you might you going to need a Pandora battery and a magic memory stick for this. Um, I'll make a tutorial how you can do that without it, but it's going to take a while. Maybe, maybe not. Alright. As you can see, my PSP is louder than every other PSP because I put a plug in or whatever that makes it louder and crap. So, alright, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you want to do... is take out your memory stick this is my memory stick 8 gig sand disk it's the most wonderful thing ever I have to say it was awesome it's done a lot for me leave that there and you're going to want to open up your hacking kit In your hacking kit, you're going to need a Pandora battery and a magic memory stick for the standard hack to just hack it initially. If, like, and a memory stick of your own for updating to different firmwares. I suggest you don't mess with this just for the sake of if just if for example if you brick your PSP or whatever and you need to fix it you can you know all right so let's get started again wow that was a fail um, all right <laughs> you, you might want to take your regular battery pack out you it would be stupid to keep it in there just saying and in my case with the Pandor battery that I have um, it's LED, so it has a on regular battery mode, and if you hold it for eight seconds,
it goes into Pandora mode. This is the hacking mode, but if you get a standard Pandora battery with no LEDs, then you're gonna have it only in Pandora mode. This one, on the other hand, changes, so yeah, I would recommend getting this. It's really reliable. Um, I got it from PandoraSales.com, stationed in Orlando. It's a wonderful place. Um, Alright, now what you do is you place the Pandora, well, before you do that, you want to take your magic memory stick, open it up, and you want to put it, let's see, how am I going to do this, and you want to put it inside, just like your regular stick, ma ma uh, your regular memory stick, see? Now you take your Pandora battery and you place it inside. Now the battery should turn on and possibly might turn on your PSP or might not. In this case it turns on. But after that you just want to shut it off or yeah shut down the device um, if it's unhacked you might just want to pull your battery out and try again it shouldn't do anything bad in this case because it's already hacked I'm gonna shut it down Yeah, if you have an unhacked PSP, just shut your battery. Just take your battery out. It's not going to hurt it or anything. And if you and when you put it back in, hold down, I believe it is the left trigger, see? And you take the power button, turn it on, and hold that left button. I don't care what. Just wait until it does that, until you see this page. This is the hacking menu. You can either, you have a choice here, you can either install the official firmware of 4.01 or you can install the modded version or the hacked version. Basically all you have to do is hit X on the, on the hacked version and it'll install. Now, I don't have to because I already did, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to install it anyway. Now, just wait a while and I'll, and just wait a little while and I'll let you know when it's done.